This here is Cove, a seaside town in Cork in the south of Ireland. Very, very famous for a maritime history. So the very first yacht club in the world was established here in Cove. The very first steamship to cross the Atlantic Ocean departed from here in Cove. And Cove was also the departure point for 123 people who would be boarding the Titanic back in 1912. The Titanic on the 11th of April put down anchor out at Roaches Point in the distance there and sent two tenders, two smaller boats, the Ireland and the America, to pick up 123 people at the pier just in front of me now. This is the White Star Line building. This is where the passengers of the Titanic would have handed in their tickets and walked to the wooden pier in front of me now. Believe it or not, this is the exact same original wooden pier that was here, not only for the Titanic passengers, but all the Irish that would have left Ireland in search of a better life in America down through the years. They would have gathered together in this courtyard here, and just up above on the platform is where the first class passengers would have waited looking down on everyone. There are some very iconic photographs of this scene. It wasn't just the passengers of the Titanic that left from Cove and never returned. All of the migrants that would have left Ireland down through the years who got on ships here in Cove to cross the ocean to the America in search of a better life, a different life, a new life, they would have also stood on the same platform down here, the same wooden pier as the passengers of the Titanic. And they would eventually arrive in Ellis Island, where the Statue of Liberty is in New York. And that's where they would go through a new federal immigrant system. And the very first people, very first Irish to go through that system was Annie Moore and her two little brothers. There's a statue down here of Annie Moore and her two little brothers and it's a, an exact same statue on Ellis Island in New York. Annie Moore and her brothers Anthony and Philip embarked from Cove on the 20th of December 1891 on the SS Nevada. Annie was the first person to be admitted to the United States of America through the new immigration center on Ellis Island in New York. And that happened on the 1st of January, The first thing the passengers of the Titanic would have done, no doubt, the morning of their departure would be to go to 7 o'clock Mass in St. Coleman's Cathedral at the top of the town. One of the things I've heard many tour guides say about Cove is that it looks exactly as it did back in 1912. And you can see that as you walk the narrow streets here. This is St. Coleman's Cathedral. There was initially a church here in its place, St. John the Baptist Church, in 1808. And then designs for this grand building 
were drawn up and I think by the middle by 1850 somewhere around there this cathedral was built and it cost just shy of 300,000 pounds at the time I wanted to go inside but it's not open it says it's open at 8 o'clock which it is now So after the passengers went to mass here at 7 a.m. They would have proceeded down this way now to the pier and to the White Star Line building. I'm now tracing the last footsteps of the Titanic passengers they would have likely walked down these steps and into the town center where they would arrive at the White Star Line building. Titanic was of course made into a blockbuster movie by James Cameron but what is it about Titanic that is so captivating that we still obsess over this story to this day? And well, first of all, the ship was the grandest of its kind and of its time. But I think the story itself, all the hopes and dreams that were on this pier back in the day, all the fortune that they felt lied ahead of them and none of it was to be. And it would all sink to the bottom of the Atlantic Ocean. It is the ultimate story, the ultimate tragedy, or if you like, the ultimate love story gone wrong. I went into the White Star Line building yesterday. There is a small exhibit, a retelling of the story of the Titanic and the passengers who got on board here in Cove. When you arrive, you're given a ticket and on that ticket is the name of one of the passengers. In my case, I had John Kennedy. And at the end of your time in the White Star Line building, you get to see whether or not you survived the journey because the vast majority of those who boarded the Titanic here would perish in the icy Atlantic Ocean. Believe it or not, John Kennedy survived and went on to live a life that nobody seems to know anything about in America.